Hey, welcome back to Northeast Florida Redneck Customs. Today, I'm going to show you how to test a coil, whether it's an old style coil like this oil filled one or a modern day coil. So, I'm going to show you how to check primary and secondary coil. So, the primary on the front of this, you can see it's supposed to be around 70 ohms. This is a brand new coil. So, the first thing you would do is with your multimeter, if you Touch the negative and positive together. You know, this you can calibrate it. You know, so I'm sitting at 4.4 ohms, 0.3 ohms. So here, you know, this one can't be calibrated. You know, I don't have a button on it, so you just have to remember to subtract the 0.3 from your first reading. So you have your positive and your negative here, and on the coil, it's showing 1.3. Let me go ahead and stand this up so you can see it. So it's 1.3. Yeah, so this is actually about 1 ohm. So it's a little bit higher than than what the factory's calling for. But, you know, with a standard deviation, you know, you're, you're within standards. And I have the multimeter set to 200 ohms. So to check, that's your primary to check the secondary, what you do, you need to, you're going to be, depending on the coil, anywhere from 12 to, well, 10 to 12,000. So I'll move the multimeter to 20K. So down here, I'm at 20K on the ohms. And then what you'll do is you'll touch and then touch the inside. And you can see I'm sitting at, you know, 11.7. .7, so it's really about 11.4 whenever you subtract the 0.3. And you can do it from either side. It doesn't really matter. You're going to get the same number, you know, or pretty close to the same number. So that's an easy way to check coils to see if they're still functioning, whether it's a new coil or an old coil. If you don't know which wire it is off of the new coil, you can turn your key to the on position without starting it. And whichever one's the hot wire would be the hot wire on the top of the coil because you know, not all coils are labeled as simple as this one is where it's hot and cold on the top. So until next time, I appreciate it and go ahead and like, share and uh, follow me and I'll have more videos in the future. Thanks.